News 13 Sky Warn Weather. And we have a wee bit of moisture out there, just enough to generate some afternoon showers and storms across the four corners back towards Arizona as well. That's uh, moving fairly quickly, so we're not anticipating anything major out of this. Still, occasional brief heavy shower not out of the question. Tonight, we'll continue with the chance for a few showers. Temperatures will drop into the low 50s, and tomorrow's high is well on into the low 90s with partly sunny skies. So same kind of thing here in Farmington. Yeah, we'll see a few showers early. But tomorrow, a little bit more sunshine, maybe a spotty shower in the works as well. We've got moisture seeping in from the south underneath the ridge of high pressure. It's not very impressive, though, what we're seeing with this. As this high moves a little bit further to the west, we'll see fewer and fewer storms as the week wears on and actually will be heating up significantly. Matter of fact, temperatures will be in the 90s here in our area with triple-digit heat down to the south. 80s in Durango right now, 92 in Farmington, 91 in Gallup. But, of course, where it is hot is down to our south. Hundreds from Carlsbad back towards the dimming area and even near Las Cruces. We're seeing that triple-digit heat as well. Wind speeds, for the most part, pretty light this afternoon. Occasional wind will uh, get a little gusty, especially if you get underneath the, one of these brief showers or storms we have popping up this afternoon. So all in all, a fairly quiet afternoon for most of New Mexico. The general areas where we're seeing the showers, though, though from the Gila region back up towards the San Juans and a few showers popping up around the uh, mountainous regions as well. So we're going to continue to be under the same trend as this high works itself over the state and keeps us on the hot side, of course, Temperatures will continue to remain well above normal for this time of year. Moisture seeps in from the south. We'll see showers popping up from time to time as the week wears on as well, especially out here in the west and up to the north, while much of the east stays fairly quiet and dry. The northern mountains and the southwest will be the favored areas for showers. So just keep that in mind. The mountains could be the areas to watch for those showers and storms the next couple of afternoons. So tomorrow afternoon, looking like we'll see more of those showers popping up in the general areas around the Sangre de Cristos and off to our south. For Wednesday, it's kind of the same story with more showers to the north and to the southwest. So overall trend over the next 6 to 10 days, here's what it's looking at. Of course, that ridge is really going to keep things on the warm side, so we will stay above average temperature-wise while they stay below off towards the east. As far as the precipitation is concerned, well, you can almost bet that things are going to be a little bit dry as well across much of the west and back off into the central plains. Much of New Mexico, of course, staying hot and dry for the foreseeable near future anyway. So let's take a look at those numbers now and show you what you can expect tonight. Of course, we will cool off into the 50s and 60s, a few areas down in the 40s. But tomorrow, we're turning up the heat again into the low to mid-90s. Of course, a couple of areas will only see 80s. So scattered showers and storms, a possibility for tomorrow. But as the week gets longer, of course, a Wednesday into Friday could be a little bit drier with a few more showers expected by the end of next weekend and the beginning of next week as well. As far as uh, Far Farmington's concerned, 96 tomorrow, maybe a stray shower, but definitely going to be heating up towards the end of the week with triple-digit heat on the way.